In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create an eye-catching profile picture for your social media. So we are going to do everything 100% with Canva and we're going to use some features that are available for Canva Pro users. So for this tutorial, I selected Will Smith profile picture because I find it really cool and I think that it really stands out from the crowd. So we can do everything with Canva and I'm going to show you an example of my profile picture. This is what I created and what we are going to recreate in today's tutorial. So I would say that it looks very similar. Let me know in the comments what do you think and if you guys are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Okay, so here we are on my Canva account. I'm using a Canva Pro account. This is the paid version of Canva because we're going to use a premium feature to create this profile picture. So to start with, I'm going to select a square format or a square doc type. And for this specific design, I'm going to select an Instagram post because this one is square 1080 by 1080. So if you cannot find this option on your homepage in the same place where I see it, you can just type here on the search box on top, Instagram post, and then you will have the same option here as suggested. So Instagram post and just click here. Or if you find it on your homepage, just just click here. Now Canva is opening the Canva editor and the first thing that we are going to be doing today is to change the background color. So I'm going to select the background and here you will see that we have this color option and I'm going to select one of the yellows that I have on my color palette. I'm selecting this color because it's very similar to the profile picture that Will Smith is using. So I already uploaded the photo that I'm going to be using for my profile picture to Canva. So I'm going to upload and I have a bunch of photos right here. I actually tried a couple of them before filming this tutorial to see which one was going to look more alike to Will Smith photo and it is this one. So for the people who are new to Canva and don't know how to upload images to Canva, just take your images and drag them to your Canva editor and they will be uploading automatically. If not, you can use this button right here that says upload media. Then you will have access to your computer files and like this you will be able to upload your photos. Okay, so now let's go to this toolbar. When you have your photo selected, you will see this. If you don't have your photo selected, it will look different. So select the photo and then go to effects. Here we are going to be using background remover, which is this feature that I told you about that is available for Canva Pro users. If you have a Canva free account and still would like to try out this feature, you can use my affiliate link that is in the description of this video with this link you will be able to enjoy 45 days of Canva Pro for free. This is 15 days more than what you will find on Canva so if you want to try it out just go and click on that link. So now let's go and click on background remover. This is going to remove the background of our photos. So what I'm going to do on this specific photo is to remove some hairs that you see around here just to get a cleaner look when I'm going to add the line or the silhouette on this photo. So I'm going to select the erase icon that we see on the left hand side and now I will have access to this erase feature and I will be able to clean a tiny bit around my hair and this is going to help us create a more clean outline. Okay so now that I have cleaned around my hair head these little hairs I'm going to click here on done and then apply it's very important that we click on apply if not this effect can be removed if we are going to apply another effect or something else to the picture so I don't know if you paid attention but these features right here and my photo kind of like disappeared for a second and then appeared again we are going to wait for this to happen because because this is going to indicate that the picture was 
successfully upload it to Canva. If we don't wait for this and we apply another effect, then it may happen that the background of the picture comes back. So we now are going to search for this app right here called Shadows. So if you don't see this app on your account, it may happen that it's at the bottom of this list and you just need to install it in your Canva account. It's very, very simple and this feature is free. So just click on the buttons that Canva is going to show you and you will be able to use this feature in a couple of seconds. Okay, so what we are going to be using is the Glow feature right here and we are going to click one time and then two times so we are able to access these sliders and I'm going to move the blurness to zero and then transparency to 100. Like this we will be able to see this outline around the picture and then I will increase this line up to 10 I would say and then change the color to white. Let me just make it a little bit thicker and this is great. So if you remember I removed some hairs that were here so if I hadn't removed those hairs this line will be very very choppy and not very aesthetic so that's why I took that extra step. Now let's click again on apply. Okay so you see that these applications are gone for a couple of seconds and then coming back when they are back again on your window it means that the picture is ready to be used. So one of the last steps that we are going to be using on this image is to adjust some settings here and what I'm going to do is just move the saturation slider to minus 100 and then I'm just going to make this picture bigger because if we remember on Will Smith profile picture we see only his head and maybe just a tiny bit of his shoulder so that's what I'm trying to replicate on this picture maybe just make it slightly smaller because remember that social media platforms are going to crop your image most likely in a circular shape so we need to make sure that we still have a little space on the sides and before downloading this image if you are interested in learning more advanced techniques in Canva I'm going to leave you guys a link in the description of this video so you can enjoy 10 of our Canva courses for free you will have more information in that link and let's continue with this tutorial Let's go to this navigation bar on top. If you want, you can change the name of your document here. So let's go profile picture and download. You can select either PNG or JPEG. I will go for PNG and then download. After this, you will have this file on your computer and you will be able to use it on any social media platform that you want. No, that you wish. <laughs> to any social media platform that you wish. So I really hope that you liked this tutorial. If you create your profile picture with this trick, let me know in the comments. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up or share this video with your friends. This is going to give YouTube an indication that this tutorial is valuable. YouTube is going to show this video to more people. If you guys are interested in some more tutorials, I'm going to leave you guys some here that I think you are going Going to like and I'm also going to leave here the link for you to go and check out our Rondi Bootcamp the 10 Canva courses that you will be able to access for free. So I guess this is all for today and I hope to see you in another tutorial. Have a good day! Bye!